India's top doubles pair Satvik Sairaj Ranki Reddy and Chirag Shetty made history on Sunday by clinching the gold at the Badminton Asia Championships. India ended 58 year long wait to win Asian doubles gold. It is the second gold for India since 1965, first in men's doubles. It is significant because Asia is the powerhouse of badminton. The champions are now back home and we have an opportunity to catch up with them. Satvik and Chirag, thank you very much for joining us on the broadcast uh, here. Chirag, how has it been uh, uh, over the last 48 hours? I know there have been a lot of celebrations, a lot of, uh, a lot of congratulatory messages for you and Satvik. Uh, well, it feels really, really good. Um, uh, it's been a very uh, hectic uh, 48 hours to be, um, I think, um, when um, right after the win, um, there were a lot of Indian fans waiting outside. I think um, it was as if we were playing back home in India. Um, so uh, I think um, a lot of the credit goes to them as well because they kept us going right mm. through the ma match even when we were down. And um, yeah, after that, uh, we took a flight back home. So yeah, it's been very uh, hectic. It's interesting that you say that it was a home away from home. Uh, Satvik, any special message for you after the win? <laughs> Always special message from the elder people. All the blessings, I mean, uh, Modi sir, that we eat and all the, uh, all the people in the India, like, tweeting and all I was watching it was like so like giving so much motivation okay we have done right. something really good in the so for me it will take personally it will take so much time to like believe that we won uh, Asian games to sunk that in my mind so it will take a lot of time but uh, after seeing all these things so I was feeling somewhere like okay something we achieved uh, for India so it's it's giving so much happiness Absolutely. It's, it's indeed very special because uh, winning the Continental Championship uh, is probably equivalent to winning uh, an Olympic medal. Asia is the powerhouse of badminton. Uh, but Chirag, put, us, put, put, it, put in perspective how big this win is. Uh, well, yeah, I think um, um, it's obviously um, an a Asian-dominated sport. Uh, and... Uh, yeah, we, uh, winning the Continental Championships definitely gives us a huge boost. It's, um, uh, yeah, I think uh, one of the tournaments that we really wanted to win as well. And, um, yeah, I think uh, uh, both me and Satvik are really, really happy that we could actually uh, go out there and win the title for India. So on your screen are uh, the pictures of them having won the gold medal at the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham. Now, Chirag, what kind of reaction have you been getting from the opposition teams? Have they been um, terming you or calling you as the team to beat now? Um, yeah, they do, obviously. Um, everybody um, uh, will have their eyes on us, um, considering that we... Uh, won the Asian Championships as well uh, because uh, we are just entering the um, Olympic qualification starting May 1. Uh, that's yesterday. So, yeah, I think uh, everybody uh, is talking about it. But we, um, I think uh, they've been doing that for the past uh, couple of years. Um, so, I think uh, we are used to it now. And, uh, yeah, we uh, want to uh, win as many big tournaments as possible. I think that's our target. Uh, Satvik, en route to this uh, championship win, you beat China, China, you beat Malaysia and all other badminton uh, superpowers. Which was the most cherished win uh, en route to this final? I would say uh, the quarterfinals was pretty special. Okay. The way we played with them uh, because they are our idol, the Indian nation. Hendra and Asan, and we bet them uh, with easy, easy margin. So then I would say the finals is a really uh, tough match mentally. So so if we look back, if we think about that situation, I mean, it's going to give a lot of confidence ahead when we are in that same situation. Because we are down on the first game, then we are half, halfway down, then we are playing finals, we have a good chance. And a lot of positive things, then things are not going on our way, then just 
half minute here on our side then everything has changed whole the scenario has changed so just believing on ourselves and never giving up on any situation so i would say first thing is quarter finals then i would right. prefer the i mean i would put finals on the second list now asian uh, uh, championship is a big win uh, and from here you go to asian games of course there are a few tournaments like sudhiraman cup in the middle how do things shape up for uh, you and satvik chirag this question is to you from now to the asian games um yeah i think asian games will definitely uh, be an important event for both of us uh, we and satvik i think uh, uh, it starts off with the team event and then the individual so i think we've never won a medal in the team event or in the individual so right um i think we uh, want to go out there and uh, win medals in both the uh, events and uh, i think um, uh, both me and satvik uh, have the th- have this thing where we want to win medals at the big events uh, so i think starting with the sudhirman cup which is next week um followed by the world championships and then the asian games eventually now um chirag ever since uh, both of you appeared on the stage you haven't still lost a big final you have been continuing to win big finals tell us you know what it takes to be not just mentally uh, physically fit but mentally fit as well to stay in that zone of you know winning these big matches um well, well yeah i think uh, both uh, me and satvik uh, didn't really have a game going till 137 in the second game um, but uh, i think um, once um, satvik took a few points in, in his serve um, we sort of got back our rhythm and uh, we just kept telling ourselves that however down we are we'll just keep fighting because at some point we might there's a possibility of us getting a rhythm we might make a few mistakes uh, we might get a few lucky points and we might play some good rallies as well so you never know when things can change so but uh, one thing which we uh, did uh, very well till the very uh, till the end was that uh, we stuck through it we never really gave up and i think that is one thing which worked uh, in our favor uh, that match Satvik you know a lot of people have been comparing uh, the both of you to Leander Pace and Mahesh Bhupati and their heydays how they were in perfectly in sync with each other what uh, does it take for the two of you to be in perfect sync uh for me it's always same routine from the day one to uh, finals day i keep it simple and i won't involve in more like social media thing i was off i don't really interact with okay. anyone i am in my zone watching my telugu movies telugu comedy movies whatever <laughs> songs or something i do whatever i like i eat whatever i like like i be in my zone after the match i get into the zone i just speak to the family mother i just message her good morning amma how are you this 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 and she'll say all the best and uh, then done everything is shut no whatsapp nothing message no message then that's it i in my zone so uh, i keep it so simple i don't want to get uh, i don't want to take any pressure before going on to the match seeing any mm-hmm. messages like this is all the way so i i wouldn't say it's not good for me i don't feel comfortable watching all, so many messages all these things so I, i would put off all of these things so i don't carry sim as well and the torments i just use hotel wifi i just don't want to get divert into that internet this thing so it's i keep myself more simple and calm okay since you mentioned about telugu movies let me ask you which all telugu movies are you watching is rrr also on your list it it's always simple just random recommended movies from the youtube i don't prefer will you watch before i used to watch like something like hero movies before going into the match okay. like baubali kg but then then sometimes i used to watch that yuri final final scenes to get that music to get that goosebump scene so going on to the match you are like you have to do something for india you have to like do this this this, this that scene so yeah satvik let's talk about the final game uh, that you played against uh, uh, your opponents and which was a come from behind win chirag it seemed was playing uh, at a different level and you seem to be playing 
catch up with him. Uh, you were on a different plane. Tell us a little bit about, you know, how you guys coordinated with each other and, and that showed when you came from behind to win the two games later. Uh, mm, uh, finals was like, it was okay till 13 on the first game. Then, like, as I said, like half minute here and there, they got two, three points. Then they won the first game. Then second set, we are trying to catch up. I couldn't get my rhythm. I was still thinking, what, like, I was so much positive, like, from here also we can win. From one strike, we are winning. So I, I have so right. much belief mentally. So just one strike here and there, if Chirag can pull two points, then it's my time. Like, my pressure is off. Like, I can play my game then. So one, two points we got in my service, then I was like, I got, like, a lot of confidence. Then I was like, mm -hmm. we are winning from here. And I can see our opponent in so much pressure. So it felt so much confident. The crowd behind us is uh, playing the game, whole game. So, yeah. Chirag, let me ask you a little bit about the on-court conversations that you and uh, Satvik have. Um, um, we actually um, had some really good matches, I think, over the past week. I think uh, starting with um, right from the first rounds, um, they were really good matches. But... Uh, um, beating uh, Esan and Satyawan uh, at uh, who are also our idols, um, like uh, on 12 and 11, I think was one of the highlights of the tournament as well. Uh, because um, getting into the match, we were going, we were expecting a tough match, but uh, we uh, we were quite happy with the way we played. I think we never really gave them a chance to enter the match, and I think. Uh, both of us were quite surprised at how uh, well we controlled the shuttle um, mm -hmm. um, because we usually rely, rely a lot on our attacking uh, capabilities but we were dominating the net as well, the soft touches as well which uh, took us by surprise also that we can actually play well in those situ situations as well. So um, uh, we were having these kind of conversations like uh, we were quite surprised uh, amongst us ourselves that we can play like Interesting that you surprised yourself. Now, when we look at you, uh, uh, you know, playing these matches, we always see both of you sharing those light moments, having a hearty laugh over something. Any funny, interesting moments, uh, mo moments during the championship you would like to share with our viewers? Funny moments? Um, on the court, uh, I can't remember any, but uh, like uh, after we, uh, hitting a few sitters on the net, uh, which were easy kills, uh, we both of us had a smile on our faces. Instead of uh, a lot of them would uh, be like, "Shit, what did I just do? <laughs> like I shouldn't have hit this on the net." But uh, both of us just laughed it off, thinking, "Are it's okay, it happens." And uh, <laughs> both of us had a really uh, big smile on our faces. Ki, Are yaar, shit, miss kar no problem. Next point. We'll try the next point. I think uh, those are the things. Chirag, after your big wins, uh, everyone's spinning hopes on you to get that uh, elusive Olympic gold. Um, how are you shaping up uh, for the Paris Olympic Games next year? Um, yeah, I think... Uh, um, like I said, uh, Olympic qualification is the priority for us. Uh, we want to secure our uh, place in the Olympics. Mm -hmm. And uh, once we are uh, done with that, I think uh, uh, winning the Olympic medal obviously is the uh, ultimate dream for any athlete, not just me and Satwik. And uh, I think uh, we uh, definitely have it in us to uh, get that uh, elusive medal at the Olympics. And uh, we are... Uh, if we are able to play the way we have been, I think um, uh, it's very much possible because I, for a fact, know that um, we are meant for bigger things. Indeed, you are made for bigger things. I'll have to ask the same question to Satvik. There will be a lot of pressure. There will be a lot of expectations. Now that you have done big things already, how do you plan to you know, deal with all the pressure, all the expectations? Yes, uh, we love taking pressure. <laughs> expectations, we always fulfill the expectations of everyone. Hopefully, we'll do that again. We'll do our best. We'll try 
and i would say when now we are playing you know a lot of people are so much positive intent on our game so i always believe positive and negative vibes on court when i am like when my surroundings are negative i couldn't play much when i feel like everything is positive on court and the whole environment is positive i would play much better and people from the outside now always if we lose also if we get any injury also they are in so much positive way responding and cheering us so it's like for me it became so much easy mm-hmm. just to focus on my things and uh, yes definitely we'll do our best there will be a lot of hopes and now i think the opponent get more prepare for us like they will get like lot more game plan on us how to play and like everyone target will be on Absolutely. us now. so you they are will the be team aware of beat. us before we are like underdogs nobody knows us but now like even we will be watching they will come with different game plans and it will be more intense and definitely we'll do much much better than the last olympics for sure it was an absolute pleasure talking to both of you chirag and satvik all that we can uh, tell you from uh, all of us at ndtv go for gold in paris thanks a lot